Hi boys and girls, today what we're going to be doing is again using the crap evaluation um, method. Um, we're going to, we've already done read the URL web address, currency if the web page is current and up to date. Now we're going to be looking at um, if we can find the author of a web page. And sometimes the author is, or authoring company, is right next to the copyright. And the copyright most likely is at the bottom of the web page. And that will also have a date associated with it. So we're going to be looking for, is there a name of a person who created or updated the web page? Okay, you're going to look all around the page for that. Then, is that person an expert or is it just their opinion? So if you do find an author, you can always Google their name to find out, yeah, that person is um, an expert in the field of um, zoology, if you are studying animals. Um, is the site maintained by a reputable organization? Once you click on the copyright and there's an authoring company, you can find and locate the, um, the organization and then um, do a Google search for that as well. And is there a webmaster or email? And remember, all Clark Lane teachers are their own author of all of our web pages because we maintain all of our web pages. And remember, a webmaster is somebody who actually updates and maintains a web page. So you have an author who authors art article authors art articles um, about a particular topic, and then you have a webmaster who um, updates or maintains web pages. So um, there was a video that we um, watched and if you want to watch it again it's on my web page but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on um, how to find and locate an author on a web page and you're always going to scroll down to the bottom of a web page um, and when you scroll down to the bottom of the web page and let me see if I can get this in yeah um, you'll see at the bottom it's 207 to 2013 World Food Program um, all rights reserved. So we could probably click on some of these links to verify the information. Another way that we can do it is go to the site's about page. Sometimes there's a link to um, telling us what the page is all about, who is, who is responsible for maintaining the page. And sometimes that's at the top of the page, sometimes it's at the bottom of the page. And that's also a helpful resource. So always um, look for About Us. Um, another place to look is Contact Us. Um, and sometimes the author's name might be um, on the contact page um, with an email or a phone number if you really want to contact the author um, and find out who authored the website. Um, remember, a web page is separate, separate from an article. Um, the uh, web page is a page that's hosting an article. So it can be a little confusing, but remember, um, a webmaster is someone who manages or edits the page, and an author is somebody who writes an article. So let's take a look at a couple of different pages. Here's um, a web page, and um, um, California Blue Whales, and I did a search, and the um, first thing you can do is read the URL, and it says washington.edu, so, and it says right here, University of Washington, and then it's a news it's a page off of that web page. also has a date right here, September 9th, 2014, the California Blue Whales, so we can read the URL and tell right off the bat what kind of information this is going to have. It actually has an, um, a date when it was updated. Um, so if we scroll down, um, here we can click right on the um, author, Sandra Hines, and we could probably click on this, and it's probably going to bring us to information about that particular author. So author Sandra Hines, and it gives us some information about all of the articles that she wrote. Okay, so we probably could um, Google her name, and find out, is she an expert in the field of blue whales? Then I went to the Washington Post, and the Washington Post is a news website. Remember, news websites um, are always going to provide very up-to-date information, always going to find a date, um, always going to find probably an, uh, um, an author. 
So here's an article, Sonar Noise May Further Threaten Endangered Whales, a study suggests. This was updated on July 8th, 2013, and it's by Live Science. So what I would probably do is go to Live Science, and um, which is probably another type of website, um, to find and locate that information as well. And I'm just scrolling down to the bottom of the web page to see if I can find any oop, more information. No. Okay. The third website that I have on blue whales is a website. And if we look at the URL, it says coolantarctica.com. 